catch up, man, then. Yeah, because you know now you can gather it at some, yeah. and it doesn't show my uh, bulker. Good morning, ladies. morning Instagram my Instagram actually tell their customers that we've gone live whereas Facebook half the time don't good morning Jane good morning Melanie good morning Mandy good morning Kate yes it's very rainy today in Doncaster it was absolutely thrown it down in um, in Walkingham this morning I had to run to car Good morning, Shireen. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, chucking it down into it's typical, but only for a couple of days and then we've got the sunshine coming back. So at least we've got something to look forward to. Good morning, Lorraine. You bought a barbecue, you jinxed it. You want to tell me? You bought a barbecue, you jinxed it. I did, but it literally didn't <laughs> rain on the day. It was yeah, lovely. because Andrew will come home. Um, I'd sent him to unit for something, and Andrew will come home and he says, I've just heard on weather it's going to be raining this afternoon. And I thought, oh, <laughs> that would be course. typical. I'm, I'm not allowed a barbecue. Andrew doesn't allow me to have one because he said it's a waste of money. So we had this fire pit. Because it's only me and Andrew, we had this fire pit. And uh, we had to use that all this time, but I said to him, this time I need to have a barbecue because I'm having 12 people over. <laughs> so it's he agreed. Good barbecue. Did a good job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought it was good, wasn't mm, it? I, could, it I cooked like. far too much as I usually do. <laughs> far too much. But uh, we finished the sausages off yesterday. They, they were just, nice. They were nice they? sausages. Yeah. Though. Marks and Spencer's sausages, little mini barbecue ones. They're absolutely gorgeous morning yes facebook did today oh wow summer i am uh tina sorry i am shocked i was just saying that um instagram actually notify their customers that wow. there's a uh, facebook live oh, that's good. um 50 percent of the time facebook doesn't but tina's just said they've just literally just, just notified her yeah so that's good that's good really morning amazing. nancy good i have morning. to say you both look gorgeous this morning yes. thank you Lorraine. <laughs> Yes, the weather's terrible here as well, Nancy. It's Oh, you got a, a notification as well. That's brilliant. At least they're, they're now working again. If by any chance you, any of you ladies didn't get a notification, it could be that your settings have changed. You know when they do an upgrade um, overnight, the uh, Apple, they do an upgrade. Sometimes they change your um, settings, so you will have to change them back again. Never thought of putting a jacket with them trousers. They look gorgeous. Yes, so some of you may recognise the Faith trousers. They are now back Ooh. in. They're literally just 40 of them and then that's it. They can't get any more fabric. Um, they, I was notified that they've got enough fabric just for a small quantity of the trousers. Not dresses because they take more fabric for this. So there's 40. That's all there is. The lightweight, the £25 and they are side. I think they're sized online at 14 to 22 but to be honest with you i think these would easy go yeah. to 24 so i'll change that when i do get back easy go to 24. Yeah. the uh, last batch was to 14 22 and um obviously sally was rushing before she went on holiday and she probably didn't get a chance to tell me that they were slightly bigger than the last year's one. Oh, you two years ago yeah, ones, yeah, yeah two years, years ago wow <laughs> Where does time fly? So these are called the Faith, because the last time this particular pattern was called Paloma, Paloma Faith, but yeah. in the dress, and then these were called something it's Faith. So Faith, Faith Pop, I think they were. Ah, Faith, Faith Pop. Pop. Yes, that's right. So we've we've kept the name Faith so you can relate to it. Um, but a lot of ladies did buy them because of their bright colours, yes. and the Abigail is perfect with the purple yeah. in uh in in the trousers we've also got the, the coral it yeah. matches nicely um in yeah. with the coral i think so the coral in it just an extra pop of color but without going too that's right mixed, yeah like, matching i mean you've got the ren leon i did put white yes. on to match my pumps and oh, until it's got the same white <laughs> pumps as well so we'll put white on but you can easily put um well actually there's a bubblegum pink of this particular mm. top 
what is this? Millie. Millie. It's the Millie. Um, so there, there is a uh, bubblegum pink, so that would look really nice as well. Hmm. And obviously the um, the Abigails have got lots of different colours in as well. We didn't fetch them with us, we just really just wanted to show you how to dress the Paloma uh, the the Faith Faith. trousers. <laughs> the Faith trousers, yeah. so there's lots of colours oh, that's the bubble running through that. Ah oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, because you've still got the pink in the bottom as well. Yeah, perfect match to that. It's, you can kind of go a bit as as much extra colour or as you little can, as you want. Or you can tone it down a little bit yeah. if you want to. Um, <laughs> I mean, fuchsia pink would look really good with this as well. The fuchsia pink. I can't read from over uh, May I ask both of your heights, please? I'm 5'4". I'm, I'm shrinking a bit. I was 5'5", five five and I think I'm 5'4 and a half now. I'm 5'6 and a bit. Depends <laughs> <laughs> what shoes I'm in, but five, six and a half, five, seven ish. Just a little bit taller than Sally and a little yeah. bit shorter than Elise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit in between me. <laughs> Love mine, and the top is so comfy. They are, it's a really comfy outfit as well. Like, even Light though, you, and airy yeah, as well, isn't it? Even yeah. though you can be quite dressed up with it, even with just the trainers on. But yes, because I mean, if you wanted to, you could actually pop yourself some wedges on. Mm and a really nice necklace and put a little bit of a fascinator on as well and then you know you could wear this for the for a wedding as well a nighttime wedding or a party can you show uh, races the, again can you show the color the abigail please can you do what i don't know the cop they said the colon of the abigail color of the abigail so lisa's is like a proper cadbury's purple it is yeah mine's the coral yeah and we do have lots more colors online if you do want to uh, bob online i just really just match these up just to show you yeah. what how you can dress the trousers up yeah. because you know when when you see some colors like this you think whoa that's a bit shouty mm. so what can i wear with them and this was just an idea to yeah. to show you what you can this, yeah. actually wear with them i with actually them wear i just realized someone asked my height i do the opposite of sally so mine are actually you can't see it over my belly button yeah. And they're still, I don't like them on the floor because I do end up tripping over myself. But So these, obviously, you can still see my trainers, but they're still a good length. But these are actually right up past my belly button. And, and still... I wear them normal, ladies. Yeah. I wear them normal. <laughs> you know, just where they should be, sat yeah. on the hip, not yeah. down at the bottom of the hip, not oh, right up to I the just... belly button. I wear mine normal. Yeah. But again, like I explained yesterday, these particular trousers are perfect because you can gather them here and it doesn't show your belly because obviously i am very very cautious of my belly because it does it does come out and hang that little bit but because of the gathering there you can't <coughs> see it and i love the fact yeah. that i'm able now to um <coughs> put my t-shirt into the trousers yeah. i would never do that with a pair of jeans or anything like that because you would be able to see the shape of my belly yeah. and that is the one area that i dislike about my body yeah. my belly see i my, i'm the same i carry on my weight quite low like with my hips so i don't like to have the trousers. i prefer having them over yeah like the trousers are protecting me but then i'd probably not if i tucked mine in obviously yeah my trousers look high so i have yeah mine. so it, it, you know it's different what, ways what you feel comfortable yeah. with in in the long run and i do love doing but this the, yeah, yeah the wide leg trousers you can you they're can perfect, do anything aren't they? yeah they're perfect pull them up they're can't quite slimming as well but right, i will get the next item on <laughs> I uh, can't read from that far away, and I have also not brought. I'm doing a salad. I also haven't brought my glasses. <laughs> I wear the top that matches. Yes. So last year there was the Faith Pop Top. Oh, that's an apple. Faith Pop Top as well, and uh, that matched the trousers. So obviously, yeah, you you can pair them up that way. Um, but I think as well with the white trainers or something like that, the white gives it a nice pop, and then you you jacket just kind of like ties it all in together. So yeah, you can kind of go as extravagant or tone. You can't really tone these trousers down because they're absolutely fabulous. <laughs> they're a brilliant pop of colour. Uh, the top? We were just saying there was the top as well. There was the face pop. Face pop top. Ah, Last it was, year. Yes, Mandy says right. she matches hers. Yes, yes, and nice it didn't look too much neither, did it? Yeah. yeah, I did like that one, but like I say, you'd only got enough fabric for uh, to to have the yeah. trousers, cool. so that's I'll right. Oh, yeah, it's yes. a dress. 
So the shirt I did show on Sunday, myself and Elise showed on Sunday, but then I didn't enter it on till online. You could do the matching top and pull out the colours in the jacket. That's right, yes, you could. Yeah, very shouty. And you love shouty, don't you, Lorraine? Um, so I showed this on Sunday and I didn't mark it on line properly. So Rachel redid it for me yesterday and they are back online. So this is literally the the cotton, 100% cotton. You might be able to see me underwear, I'm sorry. I'm wearing dark colours and I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have done, I'm right in front of like a big window as well. Um, so this is 100% cotton, granddad colour. Gorgeous print, really lightweight, and it's called the Danielle. Yes. Yes, and the £29, I do believe. So I do apologise about that. I'm going to do that because I wear the top all the time. Excellent. So I do apologise. Um, I didn't enter it online properly. I didn't, I'd only entered one colour, but they, there was four different colours altogether. But it is now online if you want to check it out. It's called the Danielle. I'm going to wear my you jeans. I'm a little bit too... I've got black pants on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've, got the right, I've got the right bra on, i put the wrong pants on. But <laughs> I'm saying I've got black pants on. <laughs> but because uh, I'm a little bit taller, I'm I'm all leg. I've got ah. short body and I'm all leg, so yeah. it, it does reach. There's still yeah, plenty you, you that can, passes. You can see, actually, because yeah. mine comes just where the knee line is. Yeah. And yours literally comes there, so yeah. you can see that she's all legs. I'm all legs. Yeah. So it, again, it would reach. If I was on, like, a beach or if I was at home, I would probably just wear it without. But because I'm stood in front of a big window. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it works for me. And both. online. And, not being and online. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, but it you know, again, it. that just shows you what sort of different body shapes. Yeah. Again, it's not just about how tall you are, how wide you are. It's where your torso is as yeah. well. You know, how long your legs are, how long your body is. And it makes a massive difference yeah. because I would say that's more like a tunic top yeah. rather than a dress on Tilly. So it just shows you how yeah. different they are. Yeah, I'd be better with some pedal pushers or something. Yeah, I've, I've rolled that these. Sorry, these are last years, but yeah. I do roll them up. So if I had some. The Again, pedal pusher jeans, yeah. they go as well. On Sunday, Elise had some short shorts on. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I never did. I, I, yeah, I never yeah. did. The only drawback with these is no pockets. Oh. Yeah, there should be pockets in these, shouldn't there? It's ladies? a lovely shape. It's Always a really pockets. flattering shape, though. It is, they? yeah, it is. And I like the fact that it's a granddad collar as well, but yeah. this is definitely a way a holiday top more than anything, isn't uh, it? Which of those trousers? Sorry, these are the double distressed from last year yeah these are just my own ones that i've come to work in today i think there's just small quantities left yeah. of them but they are last year's jeans then. yeah I, I did think it would um i'd not thought that far ahead about needing trousers but like i say i would if if i was gonna do it properly <laughs> um i would probably put like the premium denim pedal pushers on because i tend to roll these up anyway but again It'll be the same with all magics, but I wear mine over my belly button. So these are pulled right up and then I've just rolled them twice as well. So it just looks like a really nice summery outfit, but it does it does go far past on the bum bum way. It was just the front bit. Uh yeah, I'd probably do shorts or pedal pushers um with it. But no, they're beautiful. I've gone khaki this time. I don't normally do greens, but thought I'd do something different than my normal everything blue. Sorry Instagram, I keep looking away from you. Forget, forget with both of them there. But yeah, so mine's the khaki one and it's just a really subtle colour with it. But it's a lovely material. And I've got nude underneath a nude bra. And you can't see, can't see anything at all. It was just my pants that I'd done black and I've not planned that far ahead. <laughs> Morning Janet. Khaki suits you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't don't normally do many greens, but khaki, I do every so often find something. I'm very excited about the next one. Very excited to put this one on. <laughs> Wait for Lisa to come back and then I'll go put mine on. But yeah, the um, they're very nice, these ones. I don't always as well go for like a granddad collar one, 
but it just sits lovely. It's like a really flattering V and then a really flattering shape as well. But you can see there's plenty of room, but the way the shape is, it hangs very nicely. Are you dolling yourself up? Oh. <laughs> uh, it's lovely to see you not seeing you in ages. I know, I've been hiding in the office, that's why. I'm trying to re rearrange my schedule so uh, I can do a few more TikToks and stuff as well because I do miss doing that. Spill Tilly, what's next? That's next. The problem is everybody's <laughs> job role has changed yeah. we? and we're trying to readjust to everything because Claire left um, just literally just after Christmas yeah. so Tilly's taken over uh, Claire's role so what we're trying to do is, is uh, make sure that Tilly's not too overstretched with what she's doing yeah. and then if she can she will fit other um, yeah. other jobs in like TikTok. Yeah because I enjoy doing that so we're having a, we're having a yeah. jig aren't we? See yeah we, we are do. yeah <laughs> but I love the one that uh, when you was in the unit that was brilliant that. <laughs> they were like where have you gone? I was like I'm just sneaking after her about it and <laughs> ran down an aisle doing TikToks they walked past like what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> when they're backing up. Right, so, yeah, you go and uh, do the jump show. So, um, Tilly's going to do the casual, and what I've done is I've teamed it up with a belt, uh, same colour as my uh, wedges, and a nice necklace. So, this is for anybody who purchased the uh, jumpsuits, the long, wide leg jumpsuits a couple of years ago. This is the short version of it. So, these can be dressed up. Or they can actually just be dressed down with a nice denim jacket. If you were to dress it up I, and you needed some form of jacket, I would probably put the Abigail on with it. Actually, I didn't fetch my pink. Have we got a fuchsia pink, fuchsia. Abigail? I've got the coral one. Oh, no, fuchsia. Just coral. Oh, coral. But I would, I would put uh, an Abigail on if you're dressing it up and then that will tie in with all the uh, fuchsia that I'm wearing with the navy. But if you were to wear it nice and casual, then I would, oh, thank you. Then what I would do is I would pop a, a denim jacket on, a white or a, a standard denim jacket. So there you go, that ties in really nicely with the, um, with the play suit. Now these are online and I do believe they're £25. They are sized at 14 to 22. <laughs> she's already got one mandy and um like i said these are a really nice dressing up item they're just below the knee on me and i'm so a much. five four <laughs> um and these are a really nice dressing up item again to the races or even a wedding pop yourself a fascinator on or you can actually just uh, wear it nice and casual to go to the pub or anything like that you got your denim yay oh, denim that? jacket on and uh, bob's your uncle there i you love go. this i love this so much i've been looking forward to this one going on but and yeah. again because uh, tilly's that little bit taller and she's got longer legs than everyone else and <laughs> um, they're just slightly above her knee above. so it gives you an idea of uh, where it actually yes. sits but they are gorgeous but again as you can see tilly's wearing the belt that comes with it and i've topped a belt on with it which actually makes it look a little bit more dressier yeah. as well i love yeah. that they're yeah. gorgeous they aren't are. they there was, yeah. we were saying there was one last year the jody and i got one of them because i love them it's a similar style but it was more of like a box top with straps yes that's right and yeah. i loved it but because i'm quite short in the body it did make me look a bit like dumpier if that's the right word because right. it were boxy whereas because this one's the wrap like the wrap dress yeah and i know that the wrap dresses fit and they're really flattering it does but it's got pockets but yeah i really like these I think I might have to buy these. So these are new online this morning, along with the Faith trousers. Yes. Um, what did we call it? Eleanor. Eleanor, that's it. The Eleanor play suit, and they're twenty-five pounds. Fourteen? Are they fourteen twenty-two? Fourteen. Sixteen twenty-four. Oh, sixteen twenty-four. I think. Sixteen twenty-four. Yes, that's correct. Let me just do your belt first. They should be yeah. sized at the same as what the wrap dresses are. They're just not, um, they're not um, stretchy. It's the uh, Sunset Night trousers, the, the Abigail um, 
fabric, sorry. Fabric. Have you done the colours, am I? No, you oh, can do it colours if you like. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got the navy blue on. I've got the royal blue on. Sorry, just fastening myself back in. So we've got the lime. I absolutely love this lime. I think I need my hair doing to go a bit blonder before I put the lime on. But I love the lime. That one is the stone. I think that would be really classy, that one dressed up as well. Yeah, nicely dressed up with belt yeah. and handbag and everything, yeah. Khaki. Yeah. Beautiful khaki. You know, if you, if you was to put coral mm. with khaki, that would be a really Ooh. lovely combination. I thought. Yeah, yeah like khaki that. and coral go really, really well together. Yeah. In fact, while you're finishing the colours, I'll go and grab your khaki. Yeah. Um, uh, the fuchsia, no, sorry, so you could know. obviously do it the opposite way around to Lisa, you could do a navy belt with a navy uh, yeah. jacket on, yeah. or the black, which nice. again, I mean all of them really, I think all the colours you could really nicely dress up or dress down, I just really love, really love that behind one. Would you say pink again? And with again, the yeah. What I would do is have a fuchsia pink. Fuchsia, yeah. Yeah, fuchsia pink. Pink's with well, it. and accessories with that one. You yeah. I'll just have the khaki one now. Yeah. So let me show you the colour. Oh, you. But you've got proper belt loops, the same as the dresses. So yeah, like you, say, can you can use that different like a belt, different thing. one. Yeah. I mean, yours is flat, up. isn't it? So it just goes over it anyway. There you go. Khaki and coral together are just amazing they really are so you you can actually keep that uh for later months uh with it being a darker khaki even wear it with boots and tights later on as well that's another thing we've got coming in ladies um <laughs> we've got um i'm not going to say too much but we we've got um chub rubs and tights oh. and yeah lots and lots of different things added in in the aberishery Ab Aber uh, but yeah that word that as one. well yeah <laughs> um so you can actually put some thick tights with this you pull on that jumper and then your boots mm. so you can keep re-wearing re this particular one but brighten it up with a nice uh coral during the summer months and uh away you go because i mean you just need a pair of coral wedges and then that matches your whole outfit yeah. all together yeah. yeah but the sleeves as well so again the sleeves are like with the wrap dresses, just with a little delicate frill on them. But then all your shoulders, are, I mean, I wish I'd had more shoulders at the weekend when it was <laughs> yes, <laughs> burning yes. my shoulders. She was burning a bit, it was red out there, it weren't was, yeah. it? 24 <laughs> degrees and everybody were trying to cram into the, um, under the sheet. in our hut, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> They were all in me stood in front of the barbecue, absolutely cooking, <laughs> along with the 24 e and the probably about 100 degree from the barbecue. We'd put far too much coke in. It was the first proper barbecue we'd had in years. And like I say, we went. I went to Tesco's. It was pointless going on at Tesco's on Saturday afternoon. So I went Saturday night and they still hadn't restocked the shelves. So I was bitting and bobbing from everywhere. So I ended up going to um, M&S and I bought a few bits and bobs. The sausages are always gorgeous from yeah. there. I don't like sausages while I eat M&S, it's really strange. And then I went to Tesco's and I ended up buying um, just basic chicken and marinating it myself overnight. Because there was just no, nothing there whatsoever. A few Everyone burgers I managed to pick up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Everyone They were nice idea. though, weren't they? I mean, we, mm. had, we had a mixture of everything, so there were plenty of flavours to go along. And there's always lots of gin at least. Well, yeah, so. and I, I cook for about 100 <laughs> instead of just 12, <laughs> as uh, I normally do. Someone had asked something about the size of the jackets. Um, so if you mean with the Abigails. The Abigail jackets, they come in three different sizes. This one's 12 to 18 and uh, 16 to 24 and then 18 to 26 i do believe yeah. in the i think they've got all all the colors yeah. the only one that we don't have is in the larger size in black left at the black moment yeah but they that. are uh, on back yeah. order if and you mean the denim be... jackets then they're individually sized aren't they well, they are individually sized yeah i do believe that we've got from sizes eight right up to 26 but over two listings so if you just type in denim jackets on uh, in the search bar on online they will pop up and they will let you know uh what what sizes are left in i'm not sure what this one is yes the navy is gorgeous isn't it i mean navy you, like i say you know during the winter time you could actually wear this with um with um yes polo. 
you mean you curry up? Yeah, a polo neck jumper, but uh, mustard. Mustard. Ooh, so if you can yeah. pick out mustard polo, mustard tight, get your navy yeah. boots on. And then again, it's another outfit that you can actually wear to work or anything like that. Oh, so navy nice is a very... Tight. You know what, I like a nice coloured tights. Yes, yes. So we, like I said, we, we sourced <laughs> another company. Unfortunately, uh, snag tights wouldn't allow us yeah. to go in. Oh. Uh, it was uh, a lot of work for very little return. So we said no on that one. But we have found another company and hopefully you will love them. But we're just waiting for some more samples to come and then hopefully we can start to load them online. Oh. Not just yet, but uh, very, very soon. Uh, for reference, what size is Tilly jumps up with? Um, it's really tricky when you wear free size clothes. I'm liking yeah. 1820. Um, because I've got this is why I like these ones because I've got the waist there and that pulls them in, but then I am I hold all my weight around here, so I have yeah, quite big like, very much like a pear shape, yeah, you? so very top heavy, yeah, and, and then, then I go in and then I go out and then I go in a bit, and yeah. I go out. <laughs> so I go like that. Well, about about an eight, 18, 20, Yeah, I'd say. And I'm a sixteen, eighteen. Yeah, yeah. It's really tricky because obviously, if you always wear sixteen to twenty four, I just go. Just, just, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we were talking about that a couple of days ago, weren't we, ladies? There isn't many people that actually know what their true size are, especially when you've been wearing the free size clothing for many, many years. So, I mean, again, everybody carries their weight very, very differently. And um, although a lot of people say to me, there's no way you an 18, believe me, I am. On top, and my tummy is an 18, and my legs are probably about a 14, 16, mm. 14. So, and my shoulders are, are more like a 16. Yeah. So, um, it's, it's, it's this part here that is the 18, and that's why I have to wear 18, up yeah. to 18, uh, for it to fit me properly. And sometimes I have to go up to a 20, it depends what sort yeah. of um tops were wearing i find um, that as well i don't i don't like things too too clingy so i probably no. go up so i know it'll fit around my chest right? but mandy's just said that i need some lj's glow on which <laughs> i'm feeling interested we all do i should have done my legs last <laughs> night but if i'm honest i got settled on sofa i was watching that uh, tattooed um uh, Al Al uh, it was the very last one last night that yeah. we watched and it was <clears> absolutely oh a truly inspirational story you 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 don't understand what uh, they went through many years ago it's all right mandy i know i'm pale and interested andrew was laughing at me because when we were in the garden he went oh you're gonna burn and then i came in on monday he went why are you not burn i went i had a shower it washed off <laughs> I, was like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't i don't i'll have a little bit of a red shoulder and then i go back i don't tan i don't that's rachel though yeah Russell. we just yeah. i just stay this you're so both I, the same i do you? i do need some lj's uh, glow on but there was a lady the other day and she said she was really pale and she was nervous about having the medium if i do use lj's glow i do use medium so even though i am this naturally pale i still use the medium and it's perfectly fine but i'd probably just the do the light world. and the medium the difference between them both is very very yeah. minimum and that's why we decided that we were just going to keep the medium because um if you if you go in anywhere it doesn't work with the other colours. So if you was to apply the medium and then play it again, oh, sorry, the light, and then apply it again, it wouldn't go any darker. But with the medium, it does. So you apply it, and then if you want it to be a little bit darker, you apply it again. So you know if you're going out for a special occasion, you apply it again. And it doubles the colour. And the dark didn't either. So no. this is why we decided to keep the medium. And it sells better as well, the medium. Everybody's quite comfortable with the medium. But um, from your perspective, you if you only use it every now and again, it's actually better to have the medium. Then you can keep topping it up to get darker and then using the same bottle instead of having two bottles of light and yeah. a medium medium so it it benefits us all yeah. really you just don't have to be nervous about the fact that it says medium because that's right <laughs> it's not scary. Really, yeah <laughs> there, there isn't much difference is there i mean it was supposed to be so much lighter and just give you that base tan but it, it it all depends on your skin type as to whether it actually gave you that little bit of a base tan mm. and if you've already got the skin pigmentation anyway which means you've got that 
hint of colour and, and not white, no disrespect <laughs> to Tilly, but and not white like that, but um, it didn't make that much difference when you put the light on, yep. did it? So she didn't feel as if it had actually coloured her, no. but it did. Uh, but uh, the medium is such a, a beautiful colour, you won't look orange regardless as to what yeah. uh, your colour and your yeah. skin type is anyway. Still looks a really nice natural looking Yes, glow. that's right, <laughs> yes. I mean, to be honest, we put you put that advert on, you know, where you, you're getting that brush from, from yeah. screen. And one lady said on there that it's the best uh, fake tan that she's ever used and she'll never go to any other one, so... yeah. That's really good to hear feedback like that, without a doubt. Bye, ladies. I think we've talked enough today. <laughs> and uh, hope that you've, um, you've enjoyed our little fashion inspo. I'm actually going to be having a night off tonight or from, from the lives because um, Charlene says she is now available to do tonight's live because she uh, is busy with work at the moment. There's lots of exhibitions going off and obviously she needs to be there um helping sell the caravans that they that that's what uh, her job role is so over the next couple of months you might not see her as much but she'll do as much as she possibly can so tonight she says you have the night off lisa bless her <laughs> and uh, she will be coming in and showing you a few items today so i'll do friday night and she's going to be doing it tonight but don't forget tomorrow i, can't, I, can't it. I go blue on my summer, summer. Good to know about the colours. <laughs> yeah. So almost see through. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a demo with my poor husband sat there on a chair, <laughs> and we're going to be uh, tanning the legs just to show you ladies how to tan the legs. I'll make sure that it's medium so you can see the application straight away, and I'll show you the difference between applying one coat and apply applying two. Now, my husband also has um, a skin pigmentation issue, so he's got some white scarring, and what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to show you how to, it will, won't eliminate it, but it, it will um, it will help disguise it that little bit more by applying a little bit of tan first, allowing that to then dry and then do the full makeover. So it actually has, excuse me, it actually has two tans and the rest of the leg has uh, one. So that will help even it out. It won't eliminate it, but it'll even it out so it's less noticeable as well. So if you do have any of the skin pigmentation or you know anybody who has, get them to watch the video as well and this will help um, help them understand what the uh, fake tan does for that. Remember that for 20 years I was a uh, Spray tan queen, <laughs> as I used to be called, because I used to do on average um, about 30 spray tans a week, but then on the race days, uh, the weight race weeks, I used to do around about 300. So um, I will well tan myself in just in just certain patches. areas, <laughs> very, very patchy, yeah. So I know an awful lot about fake tan, and this is the right reason why we did actually design LJ's uh, Glow and i wanted to make sure that we could eliminate the smell because burnt biscuit weren't the best smell i wanted to be able to eliminate the um the staining on the bed and i do believe we've cracked that we've really hit the nail on the head on that one because when you do apply it and you give it a good 20 minutes to dry out i tend to do it with the air dryer to make it a bit quicker and then put white pair of trousers on it doesn't come off yeah. on your trousers. So I've done that. Is... I've done it and then gone to bed. And then John was like, oh my goodness, in the morning. And I was like, no, nothing there. Yeah. No, not with LJ's glow. <laughs> it does with other tan, and the spray tan used to be a bugger for it because I always used to advertise and um, advise the ladies make sure you put some uh, old bedding on when you do go to bed. Now we don't. You don't need to. You can actually apply it in the morning unless it's raining. <laughs> um, apply it in the morning. Go and do your usual thing, and it'll be ready eight hours to wash off anyway. But it won't yeah. come off on your clothing. So this is how good LJ's glow is. So please join us in the morning with myself and Andrew, and we will. We'll apply fake tan to Andrew's legs to give you an idea. Like I said, Sally's never been able to do it live on TV because it's bending in certain areas and, and you really wouldn't really 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 wouldn't want to see that. So um <laughs> Well, you're just, you're just bending in areas yeah. that is not You'll just appropriate see top of the red as well the old yeah, time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so me doing it on Andrew's legs will be a whole lot better. 
Right, we're going to get off then, and we <laughs> Sally tonight. Um, sorry, Charlie. Charlie tonight at seven o'clock, and then I will be back in the morning at ten o'clock. And I, I know Karen's just going to sit there howling all morning while I'm doing <laughs> this uh, this spray, uh, this tan. Right, thank you for joining, ladies. See you Bye, soon. Ladies. Bye. Bye.